Hello friends, I am doing one amniocentesis in this case. The indication for amniocentesis is, you can see this fetus, this fetus is having gross anasarca with mild ventriculomegaly and uh, if you can see there is some problem in the lower limb which are fused with the body you can see generalized like of cystic hygroma and uh, there is ascites also and there is a cardiac defect which I have already seen so this amniocentesis is for karyotype I am doing going to do the karyotype to find out the reason why it is there and what is the reason behind this so I am doing a free hand Pre-hand uh, amniocentesis. I'm using 22 gauge needle, 46 gauge needle. This is placental. I am going to this this pocket. This is the needle I'm using. Uh, long spinal needle. You can see the needle I am inside. Although it is a very simple procedure and gives a feeling of a pin prick. And uh, you can see the needle tip. We are throwing away few ml of few ml of uh, fluid so that there should not be we avoid maternal cell contamination as far as possible you can see the fluid is coming the liquid is coming my IVF nurse Usha is assisting me and you can see the amniotic fluid is coming out. This is the method of amniocentesis and this amniocentesis in an OPT procedure, it doesn't require any big anesthesia and uh, if it's ultrasound guide with free hand, it can be done very easily and not very painful to the patient. This is the fluid, this is the fluid I took out from the amniotic sac and I will use it for this karyotype. I am coming out. This is the fetus, and you can see the heart is moving. I suspect a major uh, chromosomal anomaly in this case. You can see fetal ascites also. Thanks a lot for patient listening. This is an amniocentesis which is done in ideal fertility. Thank you very much.